What's up, YouTube? This your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys today. Today in this short video, I just wanted to go over some cool shortcuts that you can use inside iTunes the next time you're listening to your music or movies or just playing around. Let's begin. The first shortcut I would like to go over today in this video with you guys is the space bar. Let me open up my iTunes. If you're inside iTunes, and let's just say you're listening to some music, if you just tap on the space bar, like so, that song will then start playing. And if you tap on the space bar again, it will pause it. All right, let's move on to the second shortcut. Okay, if you're like me and you're inside iTunes, and let's just say you like to listen to music or browse through movies or something like that, and you may get tracked off for a second to doing something else, you may want to go back to the current song that you was listening to or the movie that you was playing at that certain time. By doing so, if you just tap on Command L, it will then take you right back to that track or movie right where you was playing it. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna start playing this song here. Turn this down a little bit so YouTube don't, you know, send me an email saying I don't have the copyrights to it. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my TV shows here. Now remember, my song is still playing in the background. And if I just hold down Command and hit the letter L, it will then take me right back to the song that I was currently listening to in that location. Okay, now we're moving on to number three. Now with this third shortcut that I'm about to show you guys, this is for the column browser. So let's just say if you was inside iTunes and you was listening to your music, or you just wanted to go through different columns and everything and change some stuff around, if you just hold down Command and hit the letter B, it will then drop down the column browser so that you can have access to your genres, artists, and your albums. And if you tap on Command B again, it will then hide it, like so. Okay, now with this fourth shortcut I'm about to show you all, it's for when you love to edit your songs or movies or if you wanted to, you know, just edit some tags or something like that or just make some changes with that song or that movie as far as like with the name or maybe the rating. If you're inside your albums or it can be artists or anything for this in particular video here, I'm just going to use my albums and I wanted to make some changes. If I tap on command I, it will then give me information so that I can edit this album here by changing the name of the artist the album artist, the album itself, or give it some ratings or something like that. All right, now we're moving on to number five. Okay, now with this fifth shortcut I'm about to show you all here, this is for the number keys one through seven on your keyboard. If you have your information window open like so, again, we're gonna use Command I to open up the information window here. If you have it open and if you to use Command and the numbers one through seven, you can select different options at the top here starting with summary. So we're gonna do command one, command two for info, command three for video, command four for sorting, command five for options, command six for lyrics, command seven for artwork. That is a cool little tip that I thought I'd show you all and hopefully you guys will like that one as well. So, so now we're just gonna click okay and close that out. And we're moving on to number six. Okay, now with this six keyboard shortcut I'm about to show you guys inside iTunes. This is a keyboard shortcut that I always use when I'm inside iTunes, and I just wanted to share this with you all. So once you're inside iTunes, you should still have it open here. We're going to go back to the information window again with the same album selected that I have here, which is Pastor Troy. While you're inside your information window, if you look down to the bottom lower left-hand corner, you have previous and next. Now, when you're inside here, and let's just say like you want to edit this whole album, you have, well, I have 14 tracks inside here. And I wanted to, let's just say, edit all of the songs inside this album. Normally I would press the preview or next buttons. But if you just hold down a command key, and if you press the letter P, you can go back through that album starting on that first track. And if you just tap on in while you're holding down the command key, it will then go to the next track so that you can edit it like so. So if I wanted to do something around in options and just change the rating for this track, I can, you know, make my selection here under rating, then go to command in for next and just, you know, set each one. And it's a lot faster when you use the commands. So again, that's command and P for previous and command and N for next. In this case, I'm going to cancel it because I don't like those songs, okay? Now with this seventh keyboard shortcut that I'm about to show you all inside iTunes, this is for when you have a bunch of songs selected or let's just say if you had a friend over or a family member and they wanted you to make them a CD, 
you can do this real quick by selecting a lot of songs by holding down the command key and just selecting the songs that person wants on the album that you're about to make them like so and once you have all of those songs selected that your friend want or your family member wants you can then just hold down command shift and N like so and that will then add a playlist to your side bar here with all of the songs that you have selected for that person so that you can then just burn it to a CD for your friend or family member so that is a cool little trick that I thought I'll show you all as well let's move on to number eight okay now with this eighth keyboard shortcut that I have for you all today this is for the mini player so if you inside iTunes and you're currently listening to your favorite album or song if you just hold down option command and the number three you will then open up your mini player on your desktop so that you can just listen to your music with just the mini player open and you can always adjust the size as well and just slide it to the corner up here and play your music and go about your daily activities on your Mac now we're gonna move on to number nine and for this last keyboard shortcut that I have for you all inside your iTunes on your Mac as you all may know if you hold down the command and T like so that will always give you your visualizer for your iTunes when you're listening to your favorite song to get those cool effects that you love. This is your man, Big B Productions 100. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you all enjoyed this short video. I'll let you.